Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. First of all, I would like to apologize to all my viewers, that I have not been able to upload the video for the last few months. Actually I had an accident, and I was completely on bed rest, still, I am not 100% fit, so please forgive me if sometimes I do not upload the video further, I also need your support, so please subscribe the channel, if you haven't subscribed, and you can also support me on Patreon. Today, we are going to create, action revival title trailer, like this. So let's get started. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, I call this main comp. Here we have some elements in our folder, open folder and drag grey grunge texture image into the timeline. Convert the layer into 3D layer. Go to 2 view horizontal, and move the Z position, backward of the composition and increase the size according to the composition. Then search tint effect. And change the white map color, little dark gray color. We don't want to our image look too bright. Perfect. Now again go to elements folder, and drag side smoke footage into the timeline, and change mode normal to screen, and also decrease the opacity around 30%. Cool. Now drag another grunge image into the timeline, and convert into 3D layer, change mode normal to screen, then duplicate the layer, and move the Z position forward of the composition, and resize according to the composition. Now select the top grunge layer hit R for rotation, and change the Z rotation 180 degrees. So this will give differentiation between both grunge layers. Now we need to add our text. So create a new composition. And I called this text comp. Select text tool and type your text. Now we need to change the color of bottom text. So select the layer, go to layer menu, then go to layer styles. And select gradient overlay. Open gradient overlay, and change your color as you like. Cool. Now we need to animate the text. So first create a new null layer and parent with our first text. Select null layer, hit P for position, and move the X position, left side of the composition, and add a keyframe, then go to around 20 frame forward, and move the X position, middle of the composition. Select the last keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this, if your graph not look like this, right click and select edit speed graph. Perfect. Now animate the second text, so again create a new null layer. And parent our text with our second null layer. Select null layer hit P for position, go to first frame, and move the X position right side of the composition. And add a keyframe, then go to 20 frame forward, and move the X position, middle of the composition. Select the last keyframe, and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we want a secondary animation for our text, so select the both text layers. 
hit P for position, and add a keyframe, then go to around 6 second forward, and move the top text, X position, little bit right side of the composition. Then select the bottom text, and move the X position, left side of the composition. This will give a continuous movement to our text. Cool. Select all the layers and pre-compose them. I call this text 1. And move all attributes into the new comp. Now drag new grunge image into the timeline, below the text layer. And change mat alpha mat. Here you can see the text and resize the grunge layer according to the composition. Now duplicate the text layer, turn on the layer, and change mode normal to multiply. Here you can see our texture visible into our text. Now select the grunge layer, and search tint effect, and change the black color, light gray color, how much texture you want in your text, you can adjust this color according to that. Now select the top text layer. Move the X position one frame on right side, by hitting right arrow key, so this will give our text a 3D look. Perfect. Now go to main comp, and drag the text comp into the timeline, and change mode normal to screen, and convert into 3D layer. Then search fast blur effect. Blur dimension horizontal. Then go to first frame and add a keyframe on blur radius, and blur amount 100. Then go to around 20 frame forward, and change blur amount 0. Also change iterations 1. Now select text comp, and hit T for opacity, go to first frame and add a keyframe, and change amount 0%, then go to 20 frame forward and change the opacity amount 100%. Cool. Now duplicate the text comp. Then select the bottom text comp layer, and duplicate the fast blur effect, and remove the keyframes, and increase blur radius around 300. Perfect. Now drag particle footage into the timeline, change mode normal to screen, and convert layer into 3D layer, then move Z position, backward the composition, and resize according to the composition. Now drag fire particle into the timeline, change mode screen, and convert into 3D layer, and move little close to the composition, and resize according to the composition. Now drag flare footage into the timeline, change mode screen, and adjust in between both text. Now we need to animate this. So go to first frame, hit T for opacity, and then hold shift key, and press P for position, and add a keyframe, and move your flare little bit left side of the composition. Then go to around 20 frame forward, and move the flare right side of the composition. Then go to few frame back and increase the opacity 100%, Cool. 
Now go to few second forward, and move the X position, little bit right side of the composition. Now we need to animate the opacity also, so go to two and half second forward, and add a keyframe, then go to few frame forward, and change opacity 0%, Also convert this layer into 3D layer. Now drag, fog atmosphere footage into the timeline. Convert into 3D layer, and change mode screen, and resize according to the composition. Then duplicate the layer, right click go to transform and flip horizontal. Select both layers, hit T for opacity and change the opacity around 40%. Now create new camera. I am using 35mm preset camera. Then create null layer. Convert layer into 3D layer, and parent camera with null layer. Select Null Layer hit P for position, hold Shift key and hit R for rotation, go to first frame, and add a keyframe on position, and orientation, and change Z orientation 50 degrees, and move the Z position close to the camera, then go to 20 frame forward, change Z orientation, and Z position 0, Select both last keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Cool. Now create new black solid layer. Then select ellipse tool. Double click on ellipse to make perfect ellipse. Change mask cap to subtract, and increase mask feather. And change layer opacity 30%. Perfect. We also need a secondary animation for our camera, select camera, hit P for position, go to first frame, and add a keyframe, then go to 6 second forward, and move Z position little bit backward of the composition. Cool. Now select all layers and precompose them. I call this scene 1. Now we need to do color correction, so create an adjustment layer. And search curves effect. And adjust the curves as you like, this all depends on you how you want to look your composition. Now duplicate the curves effects and adjust the curves, I want little bluish tint for our composition. Then search glow effect. Glow intensity 0.5. Increase glow threshold around 80%, and glow radius 40. Now search Venetian blinds effects. Transition completion around 8%. Direction 90 degrees, width around 10, and feather 2. So this will give a retro look to our composition. You can adjust all these setting according to your preference. Now select rectangle tool to create black bar top and bottom side of the composition.
perfect, it's look good to me. Now create scene 2, so duplicate the scene 1 layer. Move 2 and half second forward. Then go to project window, and duplicate the scene 1 comp. Hold Alt key and drag the scene 2 comp, over the selected scene layer. Open scene 2. Now also change both text comp layers. So select both text comp layers, then go to project window, and duplicate the text comp. Hold Alt key, drag text comp 2, over the both selected layers. Open text comp 2, and do the same with both text 1 layer, and change your text. I am moving this part little fast forward, so that you don't have to wait. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now add transition between both scenes, so drag the light element into the timeline. Turn off the unnecessary sound, and change mode normal to screen. Cool. You can adjust the curves anytime according to your choice. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.